Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the Unit 4 of Pharmacology 3 for 6th semester B Pharm. This video is related to Immunopharmacology. It carries the following contents. Immunostimulants, Immunosuppressants and the protein drugs are of 3 categories. One is monoclonal antibodies, targets to antigens and biosimilars. Let us enter into the video. Immunopharmacology, first is Immunostimulants. The list of immunostimulants are levamisole, BCG, cytokines such as aldolusekin and uh, filgrastim, thalidomide and imucumod. Uh, they may ask in two marks uh, what are immunostimulants. Levamisole, uh, it belongs to two categories. It is having immunostimulant property and antihelminthic property. It is used along with 5-fluorouracil in treatment of colorectal carcinoma after surgery. Uh, it causes paralysis of worms, so used as antihelminthic. It is also used in treatment of pediculosis. The adverse effects include uh, a granulocytosis. BCG, which is the first vaccine given for a neonate. It's a viable strain of my mycobacterium bovis, useful as an intravesical therapy for uh, superficial bladder cancer. Aldoluskin, uh, it's a recombinant uh, IL-2. Uh, it uh, induces the proliferation and activation of T cells, including tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. So, it is used in treatment of uh, malignant melanoma and renal cell carcinoma. The adverse effects include uh, hypotension, tachycardia, and uh, GI disturbances. Filgrastim, it is a hematopoietic uh, growth factor. It is a granulocyte colony stimulating factor. It binds to the myeloid uh, cells and stimulates cell maturation. It is used to prevent uh, the neutropenia and infection during chemotherapy of uh, chronic myeloid uh, leukemia. It is also used in HIV patients when the uh, WBC counts uh, reduce and it is also used in treatment of congenital or idiopathic neutropenia. The adverse effects include uh, bone pain and uh, leukosis. The next drug is uh, thalidomide. Uh, the derivative of it is uh, lenadilomide. Thalidomide uh, was once uh, banned because it was proven to be a teratogen. It caused phocomelia. But now, because of its uh, best properties, it is reintroduced into the market but not used for pregnant cases. It actually promotes the cancerous uh, cell death uh, by stimulating the immune system. Uh, it is used to treat the relapsed refractory case cases of uh, my multiple myeloma erythema nodosum leprosum and skin manifestations of systemic lupus erythematosus. The adverse effects include teratogenicity, peripheral neuropathy, constipation and increased risk of deep vein thrombosis. MUQ mod, it is an immune uh, response modifier. Pharmacological class, it is a uh, immunostimulant. It releases uh, interferon alpha, IL-1, IL-6 and TNF alpha. It is used in treatment of external genital warts, basal carcinoma and actinitic keratosis of the face and scalp. Immunosuppressants, it's a very important question. Uh, first, they may ask what is the classification of immunosuppressants. They are calcineurin inhibitors, cyclosporin and tacrolimus, mTOR inhibitors, sirolimus, everolimus, stem sirolimus, glucocorticoids. Then biological agents include TNF-alpha inhibitors, etanercept, infliximab, adalimumab, IL-1 receptor antagonist Anakinra, IL-2 receptor antagonist Pesiliximac, Daclizumab, anti-CD3 antibody Muromonac and polyclonal antibodies, anti-thymocyte antibody and rho immunoglobulin. Let us see these uh, drugs in brief. The drug name is cyclosporin. It is a calcineurin inhibitor. It reduces the production of IL-2 by binding to a protein uh, called uh, calcineurin. So, the production of IL-2 is uh, decreased, which reduces the multiplication, differentiation and activation of T-cells, thereby decreasing the production of other cytokines. It is used in transplant patients, treatment of graft versus host disease, treatment of autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, inflammatory bowel disease. The adverse effects include nephrotoxicity, hepatotoxicity and gingival hyperplasia. The next drug is uh, tacrolimus. It is also a immunosuppressant. Uh, it binds to FKBB12, uh, a protein. And this complex 
uh, inhibits uh, calcineurin and the mechanism of action is uh, very similar to the cyclosporin. Uh, it uh, reduces the production of IL-2 uh, which results in decreased uh, proliferation, differentiation and activation of T cells. Thus, it acts as an immunosuppressant. The therapeutic use, it is used in uh, transplant patients, treatment of uh, graft versus host disease and treatment of autoimmune diseases such as Crohn's disease. The adverse effects include uh, increased susceptibility to infections, lymphomas, hypoglycemia, nephrotoxicity, neurotoxicity and hypertension. The next drug is uh, Cyrolimus. It is, uh, it is an immunosuppressant. It uh, binds to FKBP12 uh, similar to Tacrolimus. But uh, the Cyrolimus FKBP12 complex inhibits uh, mTOR. It is not inhibiting calcineurin. And that is also involved in T cell proliferation or multiplication. So it is used to prevent rejection of uh, renal allograft uh, transplants in combination with uh, corticosteroids and mycophenolate. It is also used to prevent uh, coronary stent uh, restenosis, the drug eluting stents. The adverse effects include uh, thrombocytopenia, leukopenia, hyperlipidemia and uh, rash. And this drug is not nephrotoxic. The next drug is uh, mycophenolate uh, mofetil. Uh, it is a inosine monophosphate dehydrogenase inhibitor actually it is uh, metabolized to mycophenolic acid in the liver which inhibits the enzyme involved in guanacyl monophosphate uh, synthesis that is essential for the de novo pathway synthesis of purines so without this uh, the purines and uh, purines are not formed that are essential for the formation of the dna in the t cells and the b cells so the mycophenolate is a very valuable drug it is useful in uh, transplant patients and it is also useful in uh, autoimmune disorders such as psoriasis, systemic lupus, erythematosis. The adverse effects include allergic reactions, hypertension, increased susceptibility to infections, particularly cytomegalovirus, pancytopenia and GI disturbances. The next drug is etanercept. It is an anti-tumor necrosis uh, factor. Uh, it acts uh, in combination with uh, TNF receptors and IgG1 reduces the inflammation and pain, slows the progression of rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, the adverse effects include uh, upper respiratory tract infections, headache, it may predispose to infections and malignancies. The next drug is infliximab. It is an anti-tumor necrosis uh, factor agent. Uh, it is a chimeric antibody which is a combination of TNF-alpha. It uh, blocks the binding of TNF-alpha to its uh, receptors in the T cells. It is used to treat autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, psoriasis and ankylosing spondylitis. It's not given to the patients. Uh, uh, Pre-screening will be there uh, to check the latent uh, tuberculosis. If so, they, they, will not, they will not be prescribed the infliximab. It may cause, uh, it is hepatotoxic, uh, it may cause abnormal uh, liver function tests and it may increase the risk of malignancy. The next drug is uh, Basiliximag. It is an immunosuppressant, CD25 inhibitor. It prevents the rejection of uh, renal uh, transplants. The adverse effects include uh, increased susceptibility to infections, rash and hepatotoxicity. Anakindra, it is an IL uh, interleukin-1 uh, antagonist. It is a recombinant uh, human interleukin-1 receptor antagonist. It uh, reduces the activation of uh, T helper cells. So it is useful in treatment of refractory rheumatoid arthritis cases where no other drugs are working. The next is protein drugs. The protein drugs are classified into different categories. One is enzyme drugs. There are a list of digestive enzymes, pepsin, pepine, pancreatin, diastase, tachydiastase. Pepsin, it is useful as a digestant in atrophic gastritis, carcinoma and pernicious anemia. Pepine obtained from papaya. Uh, it is used as appetite stimulant in tonics, pancreatin, it's a digestive enzyme, diastase and tachydiastase are used to treat uh, pancreatic insufficiency. The next category is uh, thrombolytic and uh, fibrinolytic uh, enzymes such as streptokinase, urokinase, tenectiplase, altiplase, retiplase. They are used in myocardial infarction, ischemic stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis and unstable angina. 
streptodornis it is produced by beta hemolytic streptococci it is used topically instilled into the body cavities for removal of blood or fibrinous accumulations uh, hirudin it is an anticoagulant enzyme used to prevent thromboembolic disorders after surgery pancreatic dornis it is used as a aerosol acts as a mucolytic and removes thick mucopurulent secretions in the bronchial tract hyaluronidase it is used in ophthalmic surgery increases the absorption of parenteral fluids used in uh, urography uh, it reduces the viscosity of hyaluron and increases the tissue permeability of the administered drugs collagenase it is used to improve healing and treatment of dupuytren's disease trypsin chymotrypsin and serrasopeptidase are used uh, for conventional treatment of traumatically inju induced inflammation and edema of soft tissues n l asparaginase it is an anti cancer uh, a drug it is used to treat acute lymphocytic leukemia other protein drugs are fibrinogen which is used in treatment of a fibrinogenemia anti hemophilic globulin is a concentrate of uh, factor 8 it is used for treatment of hemophilia a then uh, monoclonal antibodies let us see the nomenclature of monoclonal antibodies and there will be a prefix there will be a target subsystem and source subsystem followed by mab that is monoclonal antibody the naming will be like this the target subsystem will be like this v if the drug name contains vi it is related to viral ba means bacterial fu is fungal li is lowering immunity ki or kin is interleukin 2 is uh, the mammary gland co, co is a colon tumor pr is prostate tumor go is testicular or ovarian tumor me is melanoma ne is nervous system s is bone and mu is related to muscular the source subsystem from where it is obtained u if the name contains u it is the source is humans o is uh, coming from mouse a is rat i is primate xi is chimeric xi is a du is chimeric humanized hybrid zooaxo it is humanized rat hybrid let us see this uh, with uh, some examples the palivizumab the, you can see it contains vi and uh, zoo uh, that is u uh, it is used for prevention of respiratory syncytical viral infections panacumab it is effective against uh, pseudomonas aragonisa so you can see back so it is related to bacterial e fungumab it is again effective against the fungal infection invasive candida infections adalimumab it is used in treatment of rheumatoid arthritis you can see li canakinumab used in treatment of rheumatoid arthritis you can see the kin trastuzumab it is used in treatment of uh, breast cancer then uh, hydrocolomab it contains co it is used in treatment of colon cancer capromab used in treatment of uh, prostate uh, cancer aba govo map used in treatment of ovarian cancer go icromeximab it is used in treatment of uh, malignant uh, melanoma that is me solanizumab used in treatment of alzheimer's disease that contains ne donizumab used in treatment of osteoporosis contains s and stamulumab used in treatment of muscular dystrophy that contains mu the target drugs to antigen you, you can see some of the drugs Uh, which are uh, against the antigens which are used in immune therapy that is related to cancer or immune system pdl or cd80 inhibitors durvalumab uh, it is used in treatment of urothelial carcinoma ctl a4 uh, inhibitor ipilimumab used in treatment of malignant melanoma then cd3 and cd19 inhibitor blenatumumab used in treatment of philadelphia negative acute lymphocytic leukemia PCL2 inhibitor venetoclax used in treatment of uh, chronic lymphoid leukemia VGFR vascular endothelial growth factor inhibitor vivacizumab used in treatment of colorectal breast uh, cancer and glioblastoma rankl inhibitor denosumab used in treatment of uh, giant cell tumor of the bone CDK46 inhibitor palbociclib used in treatment of uh, estrogen positive and uh, her to negative breast cancer so these are some of the target drugs to the antigen let us know what is biosimilar 
Biosimilars are the generic versions or almost identical copies of the original biological product launched after expiry of the patent of the original product. So it is a generic version of the biological products. It is a biological generic. So these are some of the examples and the uh, reference products are given, the biosimilars are given. First is Philgrastim. Actually, it was launched by Neupogen, uh, as Neupogen by Amgen. Uh, recently, in the February month, this biosimilar has been approved after expiry of the patent. Rayleuco, it is used in uh, treatment of low neutrophil count in cancer. Adalimumab, uh, it was launched by Abvi in the, as uh, Humira. The patency has been uh, completed. And now, the biosimilar has been approved. Usumrai. Coherous biosciences used in treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Insulin glargin. It was launched by Avantis as Lantus. After the patency uh, expiry, Rivoglazar was uh, launched by Eli Lilly in treatment of diabetes mellitus. Ranibizumab. Uh, the original product is uh, Lucentis, launched by Genentech. Now the biosimilar is uh, Biovis uh, by Samsung Bioepis. It is used in uh, age-related macular degeneration treatment. Rituximab was launched as uh, Rituxan by Biogen. Now Amgen has launched a Riabni uh, after the expiry of the patent. Uh, it is used in treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Infliximab, the original project product is uh, Remicade by Janssen Biotech. Pfizer has now launched Abrilada, a biosimilar used in treatment of uh, Crohn's disease. Bivasisumab was launched as Avastin uh, by Genentech. Now Pfizer has launched Zirabev uh, as a biosimilar. Uh, bio, uh, it, it is used in treatment of hepatocellular carcinoma. Trastuzumab was originally, originally launched by Roche as Herceptin. Now after expiry of the patent, Conginti was launched by Amgen, used in treatment of breast, esophageal and gastric cancer. Etanercept was launched as uh, original project product is Enbrel by Immunex Corporation. Now Samsung Bioepis has launched the biosimilar Etikovo used in treatment of rheumatoid arthritis and uh, psoriatic arthritis. Erythropoietin was the original pro product was uh, Epogen launched by Amgen. Recently Pfizer has uh, uh, launched uh, Retacrit, a biosimilar approved by FDA. It's used in treatment of chronic kidney disease. So it's a very short information of the immunopharmacology. Uh, I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics uh, channel. Thank you for listening. Thank you.